Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the Spring P namespace. A Spring P namespace is an alternative to using the property tag. By using P namespace, we can perform dependency injection by directly using the attribute of bean tag instead of using the property tag. The, benef the benefits of using P namespace are P namespace is more compact than property tag. Using P namespace reduces the amount of XML required in XML configuration. The amount of Spring configuration using P namespace is typically less than one with using property tag. If you want to use P namespace in your project, then you should keep one thing in your mind. It is important. It is very important to discuss upfront which of the approaches, whether you want to use property tag or P namespace, would be used in your project so that inconsistency of declaration is avoided. In practice, most projects use the property tag. P namespaces are typically used in the reference books, where compactness of a Spring declaration is more valuable to use. A space constraint so this was the just overview of the p namespace so let's go ahead and create a java project so right click on the eclipse left panel java project i would give a spring p name space click on the next and finally click on the finish button now let's add a spring dependency jars in our class path go to the configure build path select libraries add libraries user library and select this spring library over here now let's create a configuration file so here is the xml click on the next give the configuration file name beans.xml and here is the XML doc type. So to use namespace tag in your XML, you required a P namespace. So without P namespace, look at here. Here we have a XML namespace as a P. Now let's create a class in package com dot infotech dot model class name is called a student and this class contains few fields like private string name private int age and private course and course is a custom class so let's create this class as well now let's create a public setter getter for these fields now go to the course class go to the course class for simplicity just I'm going to add one field course name and corresponding setters and getters method now uh, let's configure this class in XML file using P namespace so P in ID sorry ID class so first first we have a student class so copy qualifier name and give the ID as a student now second class we have a course 
so copy qualifier name give the idea as course course now this field has three property right so if you use property tag then you need to write over your property name equal to name of the field and if you are, that is a value type then value equal to if that is reference type then property name equal to name of the property and ref tag we are using but here we are using we, we are planning to use p name space so here you would have to write p colon first property name is name so here name i am going to write tiny now p colon second property is age is suppose 23 and third property we have a p colon course hyphen ref so if you go to the, this class then third third property we have a course and this guy is going to refer this pin so now uh, this class has also one property so here also i'm going to use p name space so so this property is called course name course name so suppose course name is computers so now let's create a client program over here so go to here com dot info take dot client and client program name i'm going to client class name i'm going to give test here we need to create a application context Pass path XML application context here we need to pass our bin configuration file name now let's use one API is called get bin this takes two parameter first parameter is the bin ID that is nothing but a student and second is the student class itself So this way we can retrieve a student bin. Now we can print the student details. A student name separate with tab and a student age we can print as well. now a student has a course reference as well right so get course you can say and you can print the name of the course as well right now finally you have to close the context So close method is not available in the application context. You need to typecast into abstract application context. Now let me run this application. And here we get the output successfully. So guys, this way we can use namespace in our configuration file. So hope you guys understood how to use uh, P namespace in your project. But this is uh, I have worked on the many projects where I had used SPM framework, but uh, I haven't seen people use this approach usually. So still, if you are interested, then you can use P namespace in this way. So that's all I have in this video tutorial. If you like my video, please like and subscribe it. Thank you for watching my video. See you in next video.